12 o'clock, Friday. Ah. Um, uh, I'll have to check on it. Can I get back to you on that, please, Vicar? That's great. All right, thank you then. Bye. Yeah. Vicar can do Friday, 12 o'clock. Bit quick, isn't it? Oh, I don't see why. Oh, we might as well do it now we've decided. Well, uh, don't suppose it takes much arranging. I mean, it's not like a wedding, is it? No. Well, they normally did christenings on a Sunday. You could have them when you like. Although I think they generally do them on Sunday service. Oh, I'm not having that. I'm not having loads of people I don't know well, staring at me. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it's falling nice, hasn't it? In the school holidays. Unless, well, unless Candice is away. Oh, no, she's here. Right then, well, um, I'll see what my mum says. OK. Well... Why a long face? Nobody asks if Friday. I can do it. Friday. Well, you're on your holidays, aren't you? So? I might be doing something. Oh, yeah, like what, going for trials at Man U? Yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, come on, it's only half a day out of five weeks. You. Surely you can spare that, eh? Well, uh, it's OK with me, ma'am. No problems here, are there? No, everything's fine. Right, I'll ring the vicar. We'll get cracking. Um. So who's coming to the party, anyway? Well, I was thinking of asking um, Philip and Tina. You're not asking Julie Brooks, are you? Oh, am I, yet? I thought we might ask Nicky Turner, though, didn't we? Hey, it's not just about a party, you know, this christening. I know. In fact, you better explain to Candice what it's about. She might not want to do it. Well, you just stand around that fountain thing while they pour water on her head. You have to renounce the devil and all his pomp, from what I remember. What? You mean like in The Exorcist? She's joking. It's in the service. You just have to promise to set a good example, you know, look after her morals oh. and all that. You yeah. might have to give her advice. What, you mean, like, with hair and beauty tips? No, no one of problems. I know. It's a dead grown-up, this, isn't it? Sure you still want to do it? You try stopping me, I can't wait. I don't know where David's got to. It's nearly half past six. Oh, I'll be out with his mates. Oh, I hope you're right. Yeah, so, how are you doing with this christening? Oh! Sally and Alma can make it. In fact, most people can make it. I'm surprised, really, with it being such short notice. What are we doing for food? Oh, I'll, um, well, I'll do it as a buffet. For how many? There's about eight, uh, without us, and then there's Sarah's friends. Oh, so uh, they can come, then? Well, I mean, it's my party, and you stand there organising it. Well, I thought you'd like it to be organised for you. Yeah. Why? What would you like? Well, uh, the same food as you. Oh, right. But you'd like to be consulted first? Yes. Mm. <laughs> Any other requests? Um, some decent music. Well, as long as it's not too loud. You have what you want. You know, he's usually back half an hour ago. Oh, you know what kids are like on holidays. He's probably lost all track of time. He did say something about building a den on the Red Rack. See? There you go. Ah. What time do you call this? Half eight by my watch. Don't you get cheeky with me. And where have you been till this time? Ow! Oi! Your mother's been worried about you. So have I come to that. We were going to call the police if you didn't come back soon. Yeah, well, I'm back now. Is the answer wait? Hey! I want an explanation first. You don't just stay out and then come swanning back in. Surprised you missed me. What do you mean? All you ever talk about is that stupid baby. David! Well, it's true. Don't you call her stupid. You hardly noticed me since that thing were born. I'm sick of it. At least my mates are nice to me. David, get down these stairs now. You're not even going to tell him off? I don't think it's going to be as simple as that. 